News Lesson 2 According to Hussein Aided, the attack on the MSF compound came as a complete surprise to all warlords including Muse Sudi Yalhau, the leader of the group responsible for yesterday's fighting. Mr. Aided said the council, which includes prominent faction leaders such as Osman Aliado and General Morgan, strongly condemned the killings and regretted the incident. Muse and other members of the council are currently on the line to Mogadishu trying to secure the release of the four aid workers. This is the world today from the BB. Now, Hargeza. Our Hargeza correspondent, Hussein Ali Noor, facts this report. Two people were wounded when more than 500 gathered to demonstrate in the city of Burao. The demonstration began when money exchangers and businessmen refused to accept the newly printed 500 Somali shilling note. The demonstrators looted from some of the money exchangers in the center of the town and shops and other businesses closed. The money exchangers were saved from the looters after policemen intervened and dispersed the demonstrators. Later on, bus drivers and taxi owners made a peaceful demonstration in the town passing the Bureau Governor's office. They were complaining about the increase in the price of fuel, after fuel stations also refused to take the Somali note. In an emergency meeting held in Bureau late yesterday afternoon, the Regional Security Committee reached a decision that the if-100 Somali shilling note should be used and that its circulation should not be refused by businessmen. A police can drove through the town, announcing the committee's decision THI morning businesses were open once again and life in Bureau was back to normal. However, the rate of exchange has decreased for 12,000 to 14,000 shillings to the dollar. People I contacted in Bureau town today said they are losing their trust in the Somali shilling and businesses are exchanging their shilling for dollars. Businesses told me that the first of the 500 Somali shilling notes, which were printed by Mogadishu businessmen, appeared at Bureau recently after being smuggled into Somaliland. This is the first time that the importation of Somali note has caused strides in Bureau. In March, the people of Bureau stopped using the 1,000 Somali shilling note after the transitional government of Somalia and supporting businessmen printed a large consignment of the notes and flooded the market, causing the devaluation. 